you go underwater guys everything just looks so much more better guys hello everyone fry rides here today today guys you already know what it is it is of course march and that means we are actually going to be doing another top five mspe uh shaders guys we're basically gonna do this every single month guys so it's been a month since the last shader video and some of those shaders no longer work unfortunately so that's why i'm making this one because all of these shaders currently work guys Anyways, the downloads to all these shaders is in the description down below. Uh, they're all media fire links, guys. You don't have to go through any shady website just to get the shaders, guys. It is just simple as clicking two buttons, guys. And if you're still unsure on how to actually install text packs like shaders or just any other type of text pack, don't worry. I got you. A couple of months ago, I did make a video on how to actually download text packs. So if that confuses you in any way, then make sure to check that video out. It will pop up on the top right annotation on the screen right now, guys. So just make sure to watch that video and come right back to this one. So of course you can see these amazing shaders. Before we get started, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and make sure to follow my Instagram and my Twitter for more updates on my life, terminated channel, future videos, and overall, just have a way to contact me, guys. Anyways, without further ado, let's head on to the number five spot. Okay, guys, so we are starting off a very strong with the KMPE uh, shader, guys. Now, this only takes up about 1.5 megabytes worth of storage, so it really won't take you that much, guys. And this one actually is pretty light compared to some of the other shaders, guys. As you can tell, uh, most of the things are still relatively the same uh, compared to the vanilla version of Minecraft. Obviously, everything is way more brighter, especially the sand, and the uh, shadows are more defined and dark guys and believe it or not our own character our minecraft character actually has a shadow uh literally right there which is pretty dope not gonna lie and it even moves with like the uh like when you run the actual shadow like moves its legs as well which is pretty dope and of course we cannot forget the amazing water guys possibly one of my favorite features in of like the whole shaders in general is the actual water guys the water just looks super realistic let's just uh get a closer view of the water guys but the water looks absolutely beautiful in my opinion uh, let's just go over here there's even like a little shine that goes through the water which is pretty dope uh it makes everything look so much more better guys and this is how a cave looks like as you can tell the lava actually emits like this really beautiful glow to it and it even like flashes so that is really dope not gonna lie this will definitely make your caving adventures far more better and it looks super realistic too because obviously lava glows in real life so unfortunately guys they did not actually change the sky in the shaders so it's still the regular uh vanilla minecraft sky so that is quite unfortunate but regardless the shader is still pretty dope and it definitely is a pretty good for the fifth spot anyways guys that is pretty much it for the number five spot let's head on to the number four spot on the number four spot we have the bicubic shader guys now uh this is actually the ultra version and it takes up literally less than a megabyte it takes up 0.08 megabytes guys now my game is actually pretty laggy guys so if any of these shaders actually do lag your game a simple solution to this is actually turning down your render distance as you can tell i have it to the maximum 18 chunks so we're just gonna chop it down to eight chunks just to reduce some lag guys because as you can tell this is super laggy and obviously right off the bat you guys will actually tell that this shader is like super bright they really do make everything just like way more brighter especially like the sand and all that so uh it's really up to your personal preferences whether you like it or not but personally i think it's pretty dope not gonna lie and as you can tell everything just look way more brighter especially the uh grass guides and of course these shadows are far more defined and darker so that is absolutely dope in my opinion and they actually did change the sky as you can tell uh, they have a really realistic uh, sky, as you can tell, which is pretty dope, not gonna lie. I am a huge fan of it, guys. Now, I do apologize if I am lagging, guys. Obviously, I do not have the best phone in the world, so I do apologize if uh, the video is uh, getting a bit laggy. Anyways, guys, here is the water, guys. It's pretty dope, and possibly, like, the best part of the shaders is actually if you go underwater, guys. Everything just looks so much more better, guys. Oh, my God. I'm not even kidding. This is a legit MCPE, and we get this a beautiful underwater shader guys it just makes the underwater look far more beautiful and i absolutely love that you know i really do love uh the attention to detail guys and even the water looks realistic it has like that shine to it which is pretty dope and you can even see through it guys like we can see those fishies you can tell the sunset is so beautiful and the sky just looks so realistic and i absolutely uh love it like i said guys i am very sorry that i'm actually kind of lagging right now uh like i said my phone isn't the best 
and of course this shader is uh can be heavy at times guys so let's actually go back to the ravine and see how like lava and how light actually uh is in the, this uh shader so as you can tell uh there is way 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 less light in this uh, ravine than the last shaders guys and as you can tell the lava is uh, super bright but obviously uh, it does not have the same glow as uh, the last shaders but of course it does have a glow which is pretty dope not gonna lie and we're just gonna place it down as you can tell the lighting is super super smooth guys and it, of course all the light sources are just super bright as well as the water anyways guys that is pretty much it for the number four spot. Let's head on to the number three spot. The number three spot, we actually have the shader FRPS shader V2, guys. Now, this shader is actually a bit more heavy in terms of storage, guys. Now, this one actually takes up about 17.2 megabytes, which is kind of a lot for shaders, guys. But regardless, it's still worth it. As you can tell, everything is just super detailed. I mean, just look at all the pixels, guys. It is super dope, not gonna lie. But honestly, I think this one is actually worth a downloading because surprisingly, uh, despite it being 17 megabytes, uh, it actually runs really, really smoothly. As you can tell, I'm not really experiencing as much lag as I did for the last shaders. So of course, that is a super good. As you can tell, uh, right off the bat, just like with all these shaders, uh, they have incredibly bright lights, as you can tell. And of course, way more defined and darkened shadows obviously and if you actually just go close to like any type of block you can see the amount of detail it has guys so that's probably why it takes up about uh 17 megabytes is the amount of detail uh each block has got unfortunately i don't think the water actually moves in this uh shader so that is quite unfortunate but that's how things look like underwater uh everything looks uh, pretty dumb not gonna lie and whoa as you can tell everything changes when you go like to a sandy place guys yeah. all the colors are just a change which is honestly really unique i haven't seen any shader uh do that so that of course is a super unique and let's not forget to mention the amazing uh, sky we have of course we have the realistic clouds and of course we have the bright realistic uh, sun over there now guys if we actually set it to a uh, sunset we will actually see just how beautiful this shaders uh, truly is there you go guys that is uh, the sunset right over there everything looks uh, pretty dope not gonna lie so as you can tell the lighting is super smooth and let's just go down uh, this ravine guys and we can see the lava as you can tell the lava has a really intense glow to it and of course the lava just looks far more detailed anyways guys that is pretty much it for the number three spot let's head on to the number two spot on the number two spot we have the natural mystic v 1.8 shader guys now this shader barely takes up any storage it only takes up about 0.11 megabytes worth of storage so it really won't be that heavy on storage guys and as you can tell everything just looks way more different compared to the last shaders everything of course is far more bright and i am kind of laggy with the shaders so uh just keep that in mind that this possibly may lag the game but like i said if you are experiencing any lag i recommend you guys just uh, turn down your render distance because that usually uh solves everything anyways guys here we have the water and as you can tell the water is a super beautiful and super wavy guys i absolutely love it and i just love how the light reflects on the water it just makes everything look so much more realistic and so much more better in my opinion so guys this is how the underwater looks like as you can tell the underwater looks a far more different not gonna lie everything just has like this a blue tint to it if that makes any sense like everything is just way more blue down here which is pretty dope not gonna lie incredibly bright lights and of course super dark shadows like we see over there and let's just approach this lava right over here as you can tell the glow isn't as strong as some of the other shaders but you can definitely tell that there is a flashing glow to this lava which is pretty dope not gonna lie like it gets bright and then it gets gets less brighter at one moment so that is pretty dope not gonna lie i haven't really seen that many shaders actually do that so that is a pretty dope i'm not gonna lie anyways let's just see how this shader is like uh during the sunset guys so we're just gonna set it to a sunset just like so guys the sun is a bit more smaller than some of the other shaders but regardless it is still pretty dope anyways guys that is pretty much it for the number two spot let's head on to the number one spot number one spot we have the jet hang shader guys now this shader only takes up about 14.4 megabytes worth of storage guys and as you can tell it actually does change the font to your minecraft game so that is pretty cool not gonna lie and let's just resume our game and let's just see how everything looks like and oh my god everything looks far more realistic especially the sun i just love the glare that it makes it's pretty cool not gonna lie and if you actually stand still just for a little bit you guys can actually see the clouds moving across your screen which is honestly such an amazing touch that literally i have not seen any shader 
ever do that so it is pretty dope uh that we actually get moving clouds uh just like that it's way more realistic guys now the water probably doesn't look as good as some of the other shaders but this is how the water looks like guys of course the water is far more brighter and just there's just more detail in every single block than the regular traditional minecraft so let's actually go underwater and see how everything looks like as you can tell things look far more darker in the water underwater compared to some of the other shaders so that is pretty dope not gonna lie if we actually just go like close to this sugar cane it is a super wavy and super dope not gonna lie and this one isn't as laggy as some of the other ones as well so that's also a massive plus guys i also love how wavy the sugar cane uh, gets it does Definitely does add a lot more to the shader guys now let's go back to the ravine right over here and let's see how uh, lava actually looks like in this uh, shaders as you can tell the lava looks are really good not gonna lie and even the flames under our screen are completely different guys they're just like far more detailed than all that and I absolutely uh, love that guys so the uh, the lighting is a uh, super smooth as you can tell I absolutely love that guys and of course it is a super dark these shadows compared to some of the other ones in this shaders so uh that is a pretty dope not gonna lie and now guys let's just uh, test how this shader is during uh sunset so we're just gonna set it to a sunset just like so and okay the sunset is this way and as you can tell the sun just looks so beautiful just about to uh, fall and then the moon will rise right behind us guys so i absolutely love how the sunset looks like and of course the clouds are super realistic and they just make everything look far more better anyways guys that is pretty much it for this video like i said all the downloads to all the shaders will be in the description down below they're all media fire links direct media fire links guys you literally just have to click two buttons and you will get access to all of these amazing uh, shaders, guys. Anyways, guys, that is pretty much it for this video. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Make sure to follow my Instagram and my Twitter for more updates on my life, to my channel, future videos, and overall, just have a way to contact me. Anyways, guys, that is pretty much it for this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. See you later, French fries.